What's going on everyone, Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 and the Carnival. I'm on the PC, of course, and I wanted to do a little test here to see exactly what you get from the Carnival Wheel with a million gold. See, I got a million gold here, and I also have, uh, what, 300 and... What is that? 368 tickets to blow through as well. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and burn them up too. So with uh, 300 tickets, which are pretty easily farmed, and 1 million gold, we're going to take a look and see exactly what you can expect, what kind of a return you can expect to get from the prize wheel at the carnival. Um, I've talked about it quite a bit. Of course, uh, the carnival is incoming to PS4 soon, so a lot of PS4 players are curious about the carnival. And for every million gold that you save up, this is going to be your return. Now, it is going to take uh, almost an hour. Not quite. It takes about an hour, if you do it casually, to blow a million gold at the wheel here. So, uh, I'm not going to sit here and make this uh, hour and ten minute video or whatever. We're just going to blast right on through to the end. But after spending all my tickets and my million gold, I finally got the Not Enough Gold box, which I was very happy to see, actually. It's a bit, uh, you know, obviously you're getting stuff along the way, but it's a bit of a grind spending a million gold at the wheel. Here's a quick look at what you can get. Now, uh, as you saw earlier, my bags were almost empty. I had the last two bags at the bottom full and a couple of items in the bag, but you see I got massive amounts of legendary items. Every one of them at item power 700. Not all, but most of them pretty much perfectly rolled with passives and everything, which is pretty awesome as well. Now, along with uh, all the legendaries, of course you're going to get the, the masks, the wigs, the buffs, all kinds of good stuff like that. But then you're also going to get some of the larger prize boxes. Uh, there's going to be one for pets, and then there's going to be the Mega Carnival box that includes one of every buff and every Carnival item. And you see there uh, actually is a slight upgrade over what I previously had, an additional 1% Frosty. However, it has defense crit on it, so I'm probably going to come back to that one and take a peek at it. But uh, lots and lots of legendary items. Now, as you see, all the weapons that drop are just the standard weapons. None of the special weapons will drop. But you can still get pretty nice weapons out of the deal. Of course, that item power 700 with hopefully great stats for you. Now, this is also an awesome opportunity for PS4 players to not only get some uh, very nice upgrades and get their group of builders well-rounded out, but also putting together like a nice jackpot set. Um, of course, jackpot is not a passive that we've had in the game. However, you can pretty easily put a set together just from the carnival wheel. Now, um, like I said, it takes, you know, just under an hour, say 45 minutes if you're just sitting there spamming it to spend a million gold so it will take you a little while for those of you you know I suggested everyone save up to about five million gold to completely gear out anyone and everyone that they possibly want up to item power 700 remember this this gear is gonna drop based off of your item power so you must have at least one character up to item power 700 before you start taking the spins now, as you saw, the legendaries that drop are going to be for all classes. However, the character that you're on, the majority of the drops will be catered towards them. So, like in this particular situation, I was looking to improve my uh, Frosty by a, hopefully a percentage point or two. So, I stayed on my Apprentice, who is item power 725 there, guaranteeing me nothing but item 700 legendaries. And not all of them, but the majority of them were geared towards the Apprentice. You saw that was only the only Monk drop I think I saw out of the whole thing, though, which which was kind of strange. But uh, lots of other ones. Got lots of Legendaries for the Squire, lots for the Huntress, and so on. Compared to all the millions I spent on the wheel before, it actually kind of felt like 
I wasn't getting as many legendaries as, as I had uh, previous times spinning. I, I didn't get any back-to-back, -back, which it was very common to get two or three back-to-back -back when I was spinning before, so my RNG luck was not spectacular today. Now, the pet mega box you saw by opening that, it's going to give us one of every pet item. Here's the big thing is the pet ability. Um, PlayStation 4 players are just going to be getting it, and not only will you get it, you will have an overflowing abundance of it. As uh, just taking spins on the carnival wheel, every one of those pet mega boxes that you open is going to have one of each pet item, one of each food, one of each everything, which in turn means however many of those mega pet boxes you get you're gonna have that many ability rerolls. I farmed poisonous tips their first time the hard way and it took me lots and lots of pets to get there. On the PS4 I have not done that and this is the reason I've been waiting for the carnival to get here. That way I could just get pretty much an unlimited amount of uh, ability rerolls for free saw uh, lots of lots of pet mega boxes there now the festive mega jackpot box includes one of each carnival item so every buff every mask they're all gonna be in there and you'll get quite a few of these as well and as you see here there was a uh, no shortage of legendaries lots and lots of uh, pet ability rerolls Lots of pet food, lots of everything you could possibly need. So that's what a million gold's gonna get you on the current DD2 Carnival Wheel. Thanks for watching. See ya.